Welcome back, everybody, to Mountain Blade Bannerlord 2, the Realm of Thrones mod. Part 6 we're now up to. Jesus, getting along. Now we are... War has been declared against House Tyrell of the Reach. Well, more accurately, they have declared war on us. Uh, Roos Bolton is currently marching to meet the enemy. He's heading to Sunhouse. Where is that on our map? Oh, gold grass. Grey water watch. That's got to be super far south, right? High Garden, Horn Hill, Silverton, Weeping Town, Sunhouse, way at the north, north, well, south, south, south side of Westeros. But what we're going to do is go ahead of the main army and hunt down some guys. Once this uh, uh, war concludes, we have some uh, plans. We're going to, as a good, good Chad lad in the chat suggested, we will be buying and selling horses as our main source of income. Make sure we're stocked up on grain supplies. We've got a stockpile amount of, well, a lot, so you know what? We'll just give ourselves a ton of food. We've got 172 days worth of food. Sorry, 37 days worth of food, 172 food. Um, I'm not going to catch both of them. It's fine, we'll keep going. Bruce Bolton's army is still heading towards Sunhouse. Alrighty, let's keep moving. We'll get down to Tyrell Lands. Cold Plain is held by the Free Houses. Moat Kaelin. House Malister. They are with the Riverlands. They got pretty good, these guys. They started off with um, only having Seaguard over here. They've moved in, taken the Twins. They've taken Mo Kalen. They have expanded their realm quite drastically recently. We're going to go... When we do end up doing our horse trade, we'll ride all the way over to Dothraki lands to buy horses, as I imagine that's where they'll be cheapest. And then we'll ride all the way north into Wildling Territory, north of the wall, to sell the horses, just as our main man in the chat suggested. Now, if you guys are enjoying the series so far, please drop a like, drop a comment. If there's anything you'd like to see, we will definitely get to doing that. I might be an episode or two behind on it, just as I've been releasing these at a pretty quick pace. And I, sometimes, obviously, the you know I'll release an episode right when I get a comment. Um, but generally speaking, oh, let's do a tournament in River Run on the way south. May as well, right? Arena, join the tourney. A Naha Nahasawi. I think that's a horse or a camel. Yeah, horse. Uh, speed 68. It's not a bad horse. Wouldn't call it amazing, but it's not bad. Willem Lannister of the Discount Lannisters. We just charge forward. And go to incapacitate at least two of. Oh, Edmure Tully. Wouldn't count on him to land a crossbow shot. <laughs> Couldn't even land a shot with a bow. Disappointing. Very, very disappointing soldier, that guy. One Riverlands archer down. Let's grab this spear. Be a little bit more helpful against these horsemen. that one. Get that one. Get that one. Oh, look at the cluster of uh, of horsemen here. That one's down. Alison Bracken. Alison. Oh, look at that. Stab him in the face. Another one. Got him. Right, our turn. Charles. Very French name. I don't have a spear, a shield like a lot of the others do. Got to be a little bit careful on it. Oh, got him! Right as he took out my ally. Ah, 
yes, victory. Let us continue. Ah, look at that. We've even got our dude with us, Willem Lannister. Willem, you're not meant to get hit like that. Oh, Jesus, Willem. This is why Lord Karstark is going to kill you. You've got pretty good armor, but you're bloody hopeless. Oh, Jesus. One on two. Come on. Come on. Yep. Oh, no way. Come on. Come on. Gotta try and keep him to my side. There we go. There we go. Alright. Now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Miles Mooton. You, sir, put up much less of a challenge than your uh, loyal servant. Look at that. We got Willem to the, to the semi-finals. Oh, Jesus. Where was that going, mate? Come on, mate. Gotcha. Ooh. Willem, you almost shot me, you fool. Why were you looking the wrong way? Willem, god damn it, you had one job. Alright. Us against Willem Lannister. Watch, this will be where he suddenly gets good at fighting. Maybe not. Nope, definitely not. You good, bro? Oh, what happened to your cape? I'm so sorry. Alright, back on the march. Hey, wasn't that fun, Willem? Didn't we have a good time at the tournament, Willem? Man's 100% going to stab me in the back. I'm just shocked that Roose Bolton's army is even still able to advance. I thought for sure they'd be almost completely out of uh, food at this point. Another tournament there at the Stony Sept. In and out, don't care about that mission too much. Uh, what's our party looking like at the moment? Got some upgrades we can do. May as well get them done. Go for them. There, there. Night's Watch stalwarts. Night's Watch protectors of the realm. Bolton veterans. Night's Watch soldiers. Night's Watch rangers. Bolton archer. Excellent. Continuing on. Let's see if we can find a... Uh, an army of High Garden, or of the Reach at least. All right, we're here. Oh, you're chasing me? I'm pretty confident that our army's going to beat him. What do we got? We've got 45 range, 55 infantry. He's got 26 range and 89 cavalry. Depending on the actual strength of his Reach Master Archers, House Tyrell Knights. Okay, he's actually kind of stacked. And he's going to catch us regardless, though. Maybe. He's losing men. Not 100% sure why he was losing men. Yep, turn us about. Run this way. Get me to this hill. Now wait for him to come to us. Welcome, Laurent Caswell. Hopefully we got the hill. Let's fight these Tyrells. Pfft. Knights of the Flowers. Look at them. Pitiful. Ah, we are indeed on the hill. However, they don't have a terrible position. Oh, but this is nice for us. This position here is going to work wonders for our archers. Uh, no, we'll go men into a loose formation on this hill. All the way across it. Put our infantry... Again, across here. Bring our cavalry. 
over here. We don't have much of them. Alrighty. The defense begins. Infantry, shield wall so that you're braced. Their cavalry will charge first. Their archers will take a moment to get here. Our northern mounted warlords should honestly pull back a little bit. Uh, my one mounted archer can, you know, do as she pleases. I don't really care. Alrighty. A large contingent of cavalry coming in. Archers! Hold the high ground. Firing. Engage the knights. Move the infantry in against them. Try and get as many down as we can. Before their main line gets here. I imagine we cause a lot more damage to them than they do to us here. Another House Tyrell Knight Fallen. Yep, and this is why you don't charge your cavalry in first. Unless you have purely knights with lances. You should charge them in, then disengage, then charge them in again for some good old shock tactics. You should never do what the Tyrells have done. Although, to prove a point, they've never exactly been the best combatants in Game of Thrones, have they? Good size army, good supplies, but... Uh, Never really had the actual skill in battle that the Lannisters and a lot of the other houses possessed. Woo! Jumped that man. Take out the Flower Knights. Get in there, man. Yep, that's it. Block them up. Had that not hit you. Phased through you. A lot of horses dying. Oh god, shield up. They have reached master archers, which are, you know, I assume they're top tier archer. Ugh, taking hits. Gotta be careful of that. Pull our infantry forwards. Get in there, man. That's it, boys. You know what? Our losses weren't bad compared to theirs. How many? How much cavalry did they have? About 60? 80? And they've been reduced to almost nothing. And that's another one down. That's their commander, I think, or just a knight, and he's going to die now. All right, the knights of the flower have fallen. The north prevails again. All right, so our losses, we have 15 dead, 19 wounded, 51 men ready for upgrade, he lost 64 men, a lot of them being House Tyrell Knights. Lord Laurent Caswell, and we actually pulled him away from his own land quite considerably, so uh, it's going to suck for him, because we're gonna, going to sell him into slavery. Worn Jon Snow boots. Who's been wearing Jon Snow's boots aside from me? God damn it. How dare you. Terrible. Oh, there's so much, so many weapons and tools and food and all sorts of stuff. We'll take all of it. I do, this is what I love about the wartime in these games. You just get so much more loot. Feels so much better than just sitting there doing almost nothing. All right. That was excellent. We've gained the trait Fearless. 
Uh, fearless, Valor 2. Valor represents your reputation for risking your life to win glory or wealth to advance your cause. Excellent. Our athletics is very high up there now. Uh, good day's rest, walk it off, increase regeneration. Foot troops in your party gain 3 XP every day while traveling. While waiting in settlements, hit point regeneration by 10% while stationary. We'll go walk it off. Walk it off is better. Leadership. More points in leadership, please. Uh, increase party size by 5. Troops in, the f in your formation cause 10% more morale penalty when they kill an enemy. That's actually a really good one to have. Alright, let's head into this town here. And we'll very quickly sell off all of our prisoners for a quick 14 grand. Um, we may need to pick up some Westerlands recruits for now. But I don't think we're really going to complain about that one because the Lannister infantry is pretty damn good. We found that out in a previous part. I'm pretty sure we got absolutely trashed by them in a battle. So we're going to pick up some of their men. And we'll even take one of their archers. Why not? All right. Mr. Bolton, we've uh, done some advanced raiding in your while waiting for you. Uh, do we have anything in here that I'd want? Not necessarily. All right, then let's sell all of that. It's a quick 19,000 gold. Sell all this. This should be a good amount of money too. Uh, 23,000 weapons, 32,000. Not bad at all. We made about 40 grand off that one battle. Lord Bolton, we're here to join. And yeah, wow, these guys' food supplies must have been running really low. As soon as we joined, they lost some food. But this should allow any of the injured party in here to regenerate a bit. Let's get some upgrades going. Uh, Freehouse recruits can now be turned into Freehouse levies. Uh, we can upgrade a lot of Northern Warlords here. Knights Realm, Mormon Elite, uh, Knights by Shield Brothers, Bolton Archers, Freehouse Levies into Bolton Footmen, and into Dreadfort Black Guards. Excellent. Let us continue the march. He's kept his cohesion up. Man must have a lot of influence built up. Well, if we take any cities down here, we're going to be able to just uh, sort of muscle our way into owning them. Granted, it's a very long way south. Trading post. We'll leave the army for now, actually, because he's draining so much of our food already. We've just lost 80 food just for being in his party. Uh, might be a better option for us to go and collect some food. Aha! Lamont Caswell, I remember you, buddy. Come here. Ah, oh, my friend. Nice to see you. I've heard your name, he says. I've heard your name. Really? That's crazy. It's almost like we just destroyed your army of knights. Heard my damn name. Of course you have, you fool. Archers! Right, once again, we're going to do a very similar strategy. Take our archers and infantry to the hill. Infantry slightly further down. Uh, go to the point of view of our archers. Can they see over? Mm, yes, but not by much. Infantry move forwards. Archers keep to sort of the crest of the hill. Oh, no, okay. Even then, it's a bit... Right, we'll pull our archers in front, and we'll charge the infantry forward when they get close. You lot, hold your line. Cavalry in the rear. Horse archers in the rear. Again, the battle commences. They have more knights again. They do. They have 18 knights. Bowman, we have eight heavy Boston. cavalry. I might send my heavy cavalry to engage Charge. theirs. Ward them off a little bit. Allow our archers time to shred them. Ah, mostly their horse archer unit.
One of our mounted warlords went down, but he's only wounded. Alright, let's go. I think they're falling back to their main line. Does appear to be the case. Alright, infantry, wheel around. Cavalry, pull back. Oh, that guy might be a little bit caught out. Riders, pull back to the main formation, go. Right. Looks like their forces are attempting to hold that hill. Are they chasing after me right now? If they're going to do some more skirmishing, that's fine. I'm happy to let them skirmish their way their ways in. Infantry shield wall. Archers, prepare to lose arrows. Yep, that's it. Coming close, mate. Flower Knight down. Sort of do a little bit more damage. Come on, you bastards. Next. Wheel around. Cavalry. Pull your position back. Infantry pull forwards. We appear to be Archer. scaring them off. Follow me. Archers move up, follow me. Cavalry, Cavalry. Follow, me. follow me. Stick close. What they got left now? Considerably less, but they're also committing far less hard than they were. Cavalry charge them. Infantry hold this line. Cavalry pull back. Big damage. Take your Imperial Charger. Another Flower Knight has fallen. That's it, man. 
Miss that one. Take that one out instead. Ah, gotcha that time, didn't I, buddy? Gotcha. Our infantry is now locked with theirs. Archers, attack. Push forwards. Get in there, lads. Hack them to bits, men. Break them. Crush the resolve of these southerners. You will not be escaping, sir. Sorry. Oh, -ho! definitely not escaping. That arrow was nice. Good job, man. Alrighty, another prisoner. Pretty sure it's the same guy, but another prisoner nonetheless. Get some upgrades going. Bam. Bam. Bolton Footman, Lannister Man at Arms. Westerlin Spearman, because we're facing so many knights. They go into Spearman, the Levy go into Footman. Right, so we want to go to the Footman. Castle Rock Marshal, Westerlin's Duelist. The Spearman turn into Axemen. And then into Skirmishers. Interesting. Bam, bam, bam. Alright, very nice. We'll take all of that. Thank you. Is there multiple Laurent Caswells? Must be. Or was there one Lamont Caswell? <laughs> that would be interesting. They really do get a lot of uh, Caswells in this place, don't they? Uh, this one's actually better than my bow. So I'm going to equip that. This thing's far superior to my bow. I'll take that. <laughs> We've got some meat. Don't really need that right now. Uh, fish, splintered, stacked bodkin arrows. How's it better? All right, excellent. We're gonna buy this village's entire like food supply. Excellent. Let us continue escorting Lord Bolton. Who's over here? No one significant. Golden Grove is held by the Reach, so we do have to be somewhat careful. But realistically, we're just going to steal some of their own men to use against them here. Levies. Oh, God. Mathis Rowan is catching me. Where's the army? Where's the army? There's the army. Bruce, help. Bruce, help. Bruce, help. Oh, my God. That was scary. Now, we do have the ability to form up our own army. Which could work. Take this party. This party. Uh, this one... Oh, we can get a decent force together here. I don't know how long we can siege, but we can still siege. Um, Ramsey Snow, he's five hours out. I suppose we'll bring Ramsey with us. I don't like bringing him with us, but we're going to have to. He has some men. Uh, Ricard Carstark. And these guys are, you know, seven days away, so they're not going to be much help to us at all. We'll bring Griff Whitehill, leave his lady so that we're not sacrificing his whole house, and we'll bring the Karstarks. Everyone, to me. Avengers, assemble! Nope. Get down here. We've got a job to do. Come on, we've almost got him. Got him. 
You know we're at war. Yield or fight. They're taking so much of our food because they're all starving right now. <sighs> Which does mean our morale will be crap. Alright. I would actually prefer that I l commanded the army here. As I don't much trust these guys to command the damn thing. Alright, let's move our force back archers on our archers to form a infantry. big wall of arrow fire with our Boom. infantry on the rear, Fall forming up a shield wall. Cavalry. Cavalry. Who's got the best uh, riding? 140, 180, 160, 230 for Ramsey. Looks like we might be making Ramsey the commander of the cavalry. Yep, Ramsey's in charge of cavalry. Dude has way better uh, cavalry skills than any of us. So, there you go. Not a fan of you, mate, but I recognize talent. There you go. Give him far more than ten good men. Uh, no, 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 you here. Uh, move our horse archers here. All right. Cavalry. Cavalry. Follow your sergeants. Defend the flanks. Thank you. Here comes the enemy's horsemen. I'm going to charge our our infantry at them. As we've learnt with the Tyrell cavalry, it's far better to. Actually, we've left it a little bit. Alright, pull our men back. We scared them off by charging our infantry, but they will still be... Um, they'll return to charge us again, so... Form a, line. Form a line, get through quickly. Fall back quickly, please, so that our, all of our archers can fire. Now, Make shield wall. Shield wall. Form in close. Now charge. There we go. Now our cavalry's flanked them. Alright, men. Charge! For the north! Mr. Sausage has gained a level. Of course he has. He's a majestic warrior. Knights of House Tyrell. Closing in all around. It does appear that the Tyrell force is made up primarily of knights. They don't really have infantry, from what I'm seeing. I think all of their infantry turns into knights. Very... Very cool, I'll give him that. But, uh, you know, if you verse a force that's got enough infantry, it kind of renders them useless. However, in a siege, they would be extremely effective because of how heavily armored they are. And the fact that, um, yeah. Reach Flower Knight's dying, House Tyrell Knight's dying. Oh, yeah, very effective in a siege because they are instantly dismounted for siege battles. That guy just ran away. Looks like their whole force has retreated behind into the forest behind. Aside from a couple of knights. Excellent work, men. Good job. We have, in the whole battle, only 22 men were wounded or killed. That's pretty good. Uh, troops, we'll take some Stark Soldiers, House Mormont, Elite Huntress, uh, Bolton Swordsmen, Bolton Elite Archers, those look awesome. Let's take as many of them as possible. Uh, grab some more prisoners. 
Take all the loot we can get. All of it. Um, yeah, this is going pretty well so far, this war. It's about to say, surely this guy doesn't attack me, right? You'd have to be bloody insane to do that. Our army is building up for uh, numbers, though. We can make it to Grassy Vale. We can buy out all of the food in that town. It's a grain town, so it should have a lot. All the men replenishing right now are taking a lot of our food supply. Give me this. Thank you. To the town with the fish next. Alrighty, buy all the fish out of here as well. I think the other lords are buying the food as we get to the town as well, which is nice. Making them a little bit less reliant on us. Uh, yep, it does appear that they have been collecting food, uh, food as we're stopping here. Excellent. Alright, you know what? I think it's time we took a real prize off these guys. How much food have we got? We've got combined 498, 8 days of food. Besiege the town. Get the camp up. They have 840 men inside. This will be a hell of a siege and I don't actually know if we'll win it to be honest. Give me two towers and a battering ram. Alright, come on. Give me a second tower. Let's go. We at, at minimum, I need to have two towers. They're assembling an army behind us. Alright, men. Lead an assault. Don't even give them time. Now that we've got the siege engines, let's get in there. We'll wrap it up after this episode, guys. If you're enjoying the carnage of this war, drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new here. Uh, it really goes a long way to helping us with the YouTube algorithm and getting us on there. Alrighty, um, uh, this should be ranged, auto-deploy all units. Alright, men. To positions. Prepare for the siege. Do we assist with pushing up the ram? Is it suicide to attempt to push this ram up? You know what? We're going for the ram. White Harbor Knight Commander, get out of my way. Thank you. Alright, man, push. I can see him taking to the ramparts. Go, go, go. We have Knights of the Trident. Knights of House Mandalay all over this place. Reach Master Archers. Getting some shots in. Once our archers are all in position, they should start absolutely unloading on that wall. We've got a pretty effective shield wall behind us. Looks like almost all of the men got good experience in that last battle. We have a lot of high tier troops in this army. Now, they do match us in numbers, but half of their force is militia. So they're good, but they're not that good. This ram is slow, man. Let's go. Yeah, the arrow is hitting. Push, men, push. Hold together, lads. I'm really afraid of a catapult shot hitting us here. I'm not going to lie. That was a ballista shot. Came really close. Although, with my own experience of a ballista, it takes a long time to kill these battering rams with them. Realistically, the fastest way to take the battering rams out is with a catapult. I know, I know. Shocking information I'm giving you. Now, we're losing men, but it's mostly archers, and we have a very large reserve. We have not got our entire force on the field right now. We have 355 men. They have 590. We 
We're getting a couple of kills back on them with our archers. And they need their archers a lot more than we need ours. Once it comes to storming the wall, the most important thing we have is our infantry superiority. Alright. The towers are approaching the wall. Why did you all get off the ram? I am suddenly the only person pushing this ram. Man, get up here! You lazy bastards. What is going on over there? Ow! Go, go, go! Yeah, infantry just abandoned us to go and get on the uh, tower, I think. Ow, that hurt. Really hope I don't get shredded too much coming in here. Oh god, yeah, I'm seeing why this is a problem. This area is a death trap. Please don't kill me. I've taken so many arrows already. Oh, Jesus. All right, all right, all right, lads. Can we stop? Just for a moment. Give me a break. Oh, there we go. The infantry's finally come back. Hopefully I don't get impaled here in a second. At least here we're pulling some attention from away from the ramp. Jesus. I got lit up like a Christmas tree. I'm just holding nothing in my hands there. Shield only. Hold your shield wall, man. Cover the man next to you. Our men are hitting the walls. Gotta get this ram up here. Once the ram's up, it's up. That's all we've got. Right. Okay, man. Go, 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 go. Pull back. Swing. Pull back. Swing. Batter down the gates. Pull. Swing. Pull. Swing. Push through, men. Got to be careful about things being dropped on us from above. Rocks and such. Chip the gate down, men. Chip it down. There's a wall of men waiting for us on the other side. But if we can break through and get a stronghold going, whoa, then we'll be really good here. Push! That's it, that's it. Chuck Caswell. Or Jackie Caswell. One of the ladies of House Caswell. Hack him apart. Hack him to pieces. The gates have broken. Push, push, push. We need this to be an opening. I just blocked me and then went like full bot mode and didn't know how to fight. Push them. We can't allow them to stop us here. The more attention we draw away from the wall, the better. That's a lot of archers. Go men, go. We've tidied up the wall. Push them back. Oft. Slaughtering them by the thousands. Push in. Crush them all. Take to the wall. Surround their men. Give them no escape from our men pursuing them. Oh god, they're rushing to defend the wall, and we are caught on the wrong side of a shield wall. Oh Jesus. We got locked in by our own men there. Surely though, with the attention we just pulled away, someone got a breakthrough. I think our men on this side may have broken through. They pulled so many men over here to the wall. 
We should still have... We still have 370 men. They're actually outnumbering us here. Our men appear to have almost completely taken this section of wall. As long as they can hold it, we should be okay. What's this mega chad force over here? The infantry are just archers. That's a whole group of infantry that's not committed. That's a problem. There is a group of infantry defending the archers. Who are sitting in a very tight pack formation. Get me wrong, if they launched an assault right now, they'd be much more helpful. The enemy has men outside the gate here. Our men are moving along the walls. On all sides, they've appeared to have swept it a little bit. I don't know where our men are going. The AI has decided to go down the ladder and go around, I guess. Our men are now fighting theirs inside of the walls themselves. They've committed so many men to defending this gate now. And they've left it there. Which is funny because our forces that attacked the gate were completely depleted after a little while. And now our men on the walls are just able to run through. We've almost evened out the numbers which is not good for them. I'm hoping that our superior troops will allow us to take victory against them here. Come on. There you go. Come on, men. Get in there. Push through. Slaughter their archers by the thousands. Alright, the, the three guys that decided to try and go through this gate. Four, five. This is not enough men to attack the gate, guys. That is if they decide to actually commit. Our men do appear to be slaughtering them along this wall. Sort of baiting them into a confined space to fight. We've got more men coming up. The enemy is also sending small groups at a time from this front gate. And these archers are lighting us up. This, our infantry needs to get in there. Alright men, we're going to speed this up so that our men can sort of get here. Alright, the enemy force from the other side of the wall is approaching. Our men have started to actually overrun that side. See, if we can take this city, our food supply problems are over. Come on, man. Push through them. Their left defense has crumbled. Once again, it's all on the right. Come on. Yep, I think we've got them, men. I think we've got them. Looks like their outer their defenses along these outer walls have been completely crumbled. I love this courtyard, by the way. It's no surprise our men got lit up like a Christmas tree when they came through that gate. Like, look at all the firing points for archers. You have archers along that wall, along that little walkway, uh, along this wall section, on this tower, on that tower, along that wall. You can literally fire from every single direction. Well, we've stopped them from blocking off that uh, watchtower. Well, siege tower, sorry. We're continuing to clear out the men that are on the wall, and here comes the assault. A lot of them are our men pushing this gatehouse. Knights Watch soldiers, Boltons, Starks, Karstarks. A combined force of northern might crushing the defenders at the wall. It was a hard-fought battle, men, but we've done it. We've taken the city from the reach. Obviously, it's no high garden. 
but it's better than nothing, and it's got three farming villages, so our men should be able to be resupplied. Granted, we were wounded, but you know what? I'd like to say Mr. Sausage was wounded quite heroically charging through the breach, considering we had half health by the time we got there. Alright, we'll speed it up so they can chase them all the way to the keep. A keep battle will ensue. How many of the men got into the keep? 62. Send troops to the keep. Excellent. Jack Caswell captured. Uh, Novoshi Master Archer. Why not? Take their 12 prisoners. We can't actually afford to have that many prisoners, so we won't. Take all this. Excellent. Uh, show mercy. Must use 30 influence for this action. Relation with settlement. Owner, Philip Footley. Army gold gain. Um, uh, party gold gain. No, we don't gain that much from pillaging. It costs us 30 influence to show mercy. But we will. Alrighty. We can now disperse the army. And that's it, men. The first siege of the Reach is over. The battle for Westeros has begun. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. If you like it, drop a comment. If you don't, oh, if you like the video, drop a like. If you don't, drop a dislike. If you want to see specific things happening, drop a comment and let me know. I will get to it in the episode following or the episode following that. Alright, guys. Bye for now, and as always, I'll catch you in the next episode.